Hello, this is Alessandrina with Dexter and Alessandrina. And maybe you see Dexter in the background. He's doing a video over there. I'm not sure if you can see him all the way up. <laughs> so we're here and uh, we're, we just finished our week, our work week. And we're taking some time in nature, really enjoying and appreciating the beauty of Sedona, the beauty of nature. And so in this video, I want to invite you to do the same. Even if you live in a city or in an environment that, where there's not as much nature, finding ways to connect with nature, whether it's just simply plants or trees around in your neighborhood, the sky, the earth, uh, being able to even put your feet in the earth. I believe that there's a word like earthing is uh, maybe that's part of the movement of earthing and you know it's known in qigong and and other uh, traditions in taoism and taoism you know this this concept of really grounding ourselves in our environment so that we can be more connected and more appreciative of it and receive more from it because when we're uh, contracted and internally focused uh, we're not necessarily realizing how much there is, how much energy is in our environment and how much energy we can receive uh, from connecting with the environment so that we can recharge. We live in stressful uh, worlds <laughs> and, and societies and, and it's very important to go back to the basics, to really allow yourself to realize that you're a part of this ecosystem and to interact with it so that we can love it, so that we can heal it, so that we can keep it uh, intact for ourselves and for future generations, so that everyone can enjoy uh, the nature that we're a part of. We sometimes maybe don't feel that we're a part of nature because we see ourselves maybe uh, within the technological uh, world that we live in and, and we've created a separation between that and nature and it's just a mental uh, separation. It's not really uh, true. It's not real. We are continuously uh, connected and also dependent in a healthy way. It's not about codependence in a you know in an unhealthy way. It's simply that there's interdependence between us and the environment. We depend on it for our uh, survival uh, and for thriving, and it depends on us also caring about it and loving it and and being uh, conscious of its um, its needs and 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 how to keep it in balance so <laughs> doing that and it starts with you simply going in nature and and relaxing and letting go and allowing yourself to reconnect to uh, that aspect of yourself and um, as you embody that as you interact with the nature uh, and with those aspects, you can go more into your subconscious mind and you can be more uh, in tune and you can resolve things that sometimes if you stay stressed or in the same uh, environment and environmental conditions, it can be difficult to find solutions to your perceived problems in life, to the things that keep showing up because you're, you're in the same energy, you're not changing the energy. And when you go in nature, you change your energy, you shift you adapt, you communicate with the environment and you begin to um, evolve with it, to embody it. And it, it also, uh, in the same way, you influence it too. So it's a back and forth. It's this uh, dynamic between you and the nature uh, that informs your energy system to calm down, to slow down, to relax. And there are the solutions to any and all problems. And uh, we can look at that individually in our personal lives and we can look at that within groups, uh, societies, collective consciousnesses. And then, of course, with the whole collective, we can apply that globally and to the choices that we make individually uh, and collectively and globally uh, in terms of environment, in terms of any life decisions, any life choice that has an impact on nature so that we can listen to the environment and how it's showing us and, and, and evolving us into uh, being more uh, caring and patient and, and loving and balanced and harmonious. Sometimes we can get driven by some 
tendencies that bring about uh, imbalance because we're out of balance. And if we're out of balance and feeling lack or separation, we're going to uh, go to an extreme like the pendulum and, and maybe take more than is necessary or maybe uh, apply processes that have detrimental uh, long-term implications. And so when we, uh, when we reflect on that, when we integrate that into our choices, then we can make uh, better choices and we can continue to, as we support the environment and we support the sustainability of the world, we also um, support our own sustainability, our own survival, our own evolution. This is a wonderful planet that we live on and we have such an opportunity when we take a human life really when we embody a human body, when our soul comes through a human life, now we're really, it's, it's an incredible opportunity for evolution, for growth, for love, uh, for learning. And, and so valuing that, when you perceive that, it's value really for what it is and how important it is, then there's the capacity to uh, truly align your choices so that you can continue to be in a body and future generations can also have that opportunity so that they can grow and evolve from being on this planet and uh, learning to love more on this planet. I hope this is helpful. Sending you lots of love.